Hi, in this video, I'll show you the quickest way to set up your Wi-Fi desk controller with your home automation system. These steps assume you're using Home Assistant, but should be generally applicable to any other home automation system if it's supported. Let's get started. Before you begin, you'll need these things. A micro USB cable for flashing the firmware, and an RJ45 patch cable for connecting to your desk. If you have a standard Ethernet cable lying around, that should work just fine. Once you have those handy, we can move to the first step, flashing the firmware. The board doesn't come with any firmware installed because each desk brand behaves differently, so we'll need to install the stock firmware for your specific desk. First, head over to the flashing page on my website. The URL is on screen now, but you can also click the link in the description. Once you're there, you'll either see a big blue button or you won't. If you don't, that means you aren't using a browser that supports a web serial, so you can't flash from the web. You'll either need to download a supported browser, all Chromium-based browsers are supported, or download the firmware from GitHub and flash it yourself through some other means. If you do see the button, then we can go ahead with web flashing. First, connect your board with a micro USB cable, then select your desk from the dropdown. I'm using an Uplift V2, so I'll select that one, and press Connect to Board. A list of serial devices should appear. If there are multiple, the easiest way to determine the correct one is by unplugging and plugging the board back in. If it doesn't appear in the list, make sure your micro USB cable supports data transfer, but if it still doesn't work, press cancel and follow the troubleshooting instructions displayed. So I'll select my board, press connect, and once connected, you should see a few options. Press the button that says install and then your desk's name and then firmware. It'll prompt you for confirmation. Let's go ahead and install it. This might take a minute or two. After installation, you'll now configure your Wi-Fi connection details. Enter your Wi-Fi credentials on this page and press connect. If the connection is successful, you should see a couple of options. If you're not using Home Assistant, you can press Visit Device to view the onboard web-based interface. However, if you are using Home Assistant, you can press the Add to Home Assistant button to be walked through the flow of adding the board to your Home Assistant instance. The board should be discovered automatically, as shown here. But if not, you can use standing-desk.local as the host name. Now that the firmware is installed and you've connected to Home Assistant, the last step is actually plugging the controller into your desk. First, make sure the micro USB cable is removed. The desk will provide power, so it's no longer necessary. Unplug your desk stock keypad if it's plugged in, then plug it into one of the, the jacks on the board. It doesn't matter which one you use. Then plug in the desk itself into the other jack. It may raise or lower slightly when plugging in, but this is normal and won't happen again unless power is lost. On some desks, it may take a few tries to connect. If you don't see the device online after a few minutes, try plugging it into the desk again. Now, the moment of truth. Using either the built-in web interface or via Home Assistant, try raising or lowering the desk. It should properly report the current and target height of your desk. If everything's the way you want it, you're done. But if your desk's minimum or maximum height are different from what is specified, or you need to report it in centimeters instead, you'll need to write a custom ESP Home configuration. That's outside the scope of this video, but you can find more details on doing so in the description. If you run into any issues or just have questions, feel free to contact me. My info is in the description. Thanks for picking up a Wi-Fi desk controller. Happy automating.